Hi guys, so yesterday I was watching the Oscars red carpet um, on E! And I was pretty impressed with what everyone was wearing, I have to say. There were only a couple that I was a bit like, what the is going on there? Um, so I'll basically just give you one run through what I saw, what I liked, what I didn't like. Um, and then let me know what you saw, if you saw any more that I didn't or if you liked any of the ones that you see now. So, um, one of the first ones that we saw was obviously Ryan Seacrest. Um, he was wearing an off-white Burberry blazer. I think the rest of the suit was Burberry as well. Um, then Juliana Rancic, or Rancic, I'm not quite sure how you say her surname. Um, she was wearing Paolo Sebastian, which was her dress. She was wearing Sergio Rossi shoes and Forever Mark jewellery. Um, if you wonder why I'm looking down, it's because I took notes on what they were wearing. <laughs> Um, really liked both of those. Um, her, her dress actually, the zip of her dress actually came apart towards the end of the show as well, which was really, really bad. Um, and then Ryan Seacrest comes running in with a bit of blue tape. Not good. Viola Davis was wearing Escada. Kate Blanchett was wearing Armani Privé. Kristen Chenoweth was wearing Carvali, very Art Deco. Liza Minnelli. I don't know who it was that made it, um, but I do remember a magazine saying that they could see her areolas. If you don't know what that is, Google it. Olivia Wilde was wearing Valentino, and her shoes and also her bag, I think, were Jimmy Choo. Um, the back of her dress, amazing. Uh, Portia de Rossi was wearing Neem Khan. Anna Kendrick was wearing Jay Mendel one of my favourite ones, just because it's different. Everyone kind of wears what's on trend, whereas I like someone who goes out there and is a bit more, not necessarily laid back, but you could be a bit more gothic, a bit more grungy with what you're wearing, not so elegant. I know it's the Oscars and I know that elegance is what it's all about, but I like people who are a bit different. Um, Amy Adams wore Gucci Couture, custom made for her, and Tiffany jewellery. A lot of people were actually wearing Tiffany um, last night. Um, and she said before um, the awards that she was dressing for herself tonight, and it's just perfect. She definitely did. Um, Jason Sudeikis was wearing a Prada suit. Um, Idina Menzel was wearing Vera Wang. Uh, Kristen Bell was wearing Carvali. Love the front of the dress gorgeous however the back maybe because it's corseted I don't really like corseted dresses I think it can look a bit tacky unless it's a wedding dress then obviously um Naomi Watts was wearing Calvin Klein and Volgari jewelry um one of my favorite dresses beautiful white laid back hair and then that silver choker um Chrissy Teigen uh, was wearing Monique, Lu I think I'll say this, Lulu, Lulia, Monique Lulia. Let's say, let's say that. Um, and I loved the dress, but there were a couple of things that put me off. One, it had pockets, and she constantly had her hands in her pockets. If she was wearing pants, fair enough, or if she was a bloke, but if you're on the red carpet in a dress with pockets, I don't know. It just seems a bit too casual it looked more prom-esque than oscar attire so pockets and proms not good but i do like the dress pharrell was wearing a lanvin suit um with shorts and i think what the hey if they do smart shorts wear them to the oscars i like people that are different i don't know how many times i have to say this Nacy didn't wear that vivian westwood hat although i do like vivian westwood but that hat just added inches to his head. It was like Neo without a hat. Nepita Nyong'o was wearing Prada. Her dress was custom made as well. Joseph Gordon-Levitt. His suit, I'm not quite sure where his suit was from, but I remember noting it down because it looks like a normal black suit. But then as he was moving, you could see that his um, blazer was glittery. Can't go bad with a bit of glitter. Then we have Jared Leto in Saint Laurent again. Um, 
his chapters on the bra and then his ruby studded shirt was harry winston so all the buttons were encrusted rubies jessica beale was wearing chanel couture and tiffany jewelry again tiffany's uh bet midler gorgeous dress amazing um and that was by reem akra sally hawkins in valentino sarah paulson in ellie saab love ellie saab dresses gorgeous jennifer lawrence um, she was wearing Dior and this is one of my favourite dresses. Maybe because it's a red dress and people tend to steer away from the red dresses because it's the red carpet. But I just love the orangey red tones and then minimal makeup. Her hair was just scraped back. You could see her whole face. And then her necklace was like pulled back so that it was almost like a choker but then it was drooping round the back because she had an open back. Gorgeous. She also fell over. Second time now, third time's a charm, maybe next year it'll be even more funny. She laughed it off, so good on her. Charlize Theron was wearing Dior and a bit of a little super fact here, she was wearing $15 million worth of jewellery. $15 million. No back alleys for her, she would have been mugged. Julia Roberts in black lace amazing people were saying she was looking really gothic i think they were saying the same about sandra bullock but they were two of the most beautiful women there by far uh, she was wearing givenchy by ricardo tisky Anne hathaway was wearing gucci gorgeous again really suited her hair was up like it was quite narrow on the shoulders she, so it kind of elongated her looked really nice again sandra bullock i just said amazing don't know where it's from though Angelina Jolie, Ellie Saab, gorgeous, gorgeous dress. This whole section here, it was almost like it was just floating on top of her. Jennifer Garner, gorgeous dress, gorgeous lady. Both suited each other impeccably. Suited each other impeccably. The dress just wasn't my style. Emma Watson, Vera Wang, again looks a bit different. It's kind of black, metallic but she kind of has the grungy look with the makeup and the hair. Loved that. Penelope Cruz had a GM Batista Valley dress. And I do like it. It's a little bit like Jennifer Lawrence's dress. I don't know if she wore it this year or last year. I can't remember. Um, and also a bit Ariel from um, Little Mermaid. Um, but I think I prefer that style of dress on... Jennifer Lawrence. Maybe it's just because I'm not a big Penelope Cruz fan, fan, fan that I'm a bit judgmental. I don't know. Kay Hudson was wearing Versace. Gorgeous. Chris Hemsworth. There are no words. Seriously. Lady Gaga. You'd expect something extravagant like an egg on her head or dressed as a chicken or something but no. Elegant. Gorgeous. You could imagine any of the other women in that line up to be wearing this dress. Margot Robbie, first time I saw her with the dark hair and the dress I was like I know that girl but I don't know where from. Then I realised that the reason I didn't recognise her is because she didn't have blonde hair. Um, she's from Wolf on Wall Street and she looked dark grungy. I like that look. Just because it's the Oscars you don't have to be all pretty and pink and feminine. You can still be sassy, sophisticated and feminine in dark as well. Which she proved. Um, and she was wearing Saint Laurent. Glenn Close was wearing Zach Posen. Loved, loved what she was wearing. And that's it. Um, so I think it's safe to say that my favourites were probably the more bolder ones. So Jennifer Lawrence, Julia Roberts, Emma Watson, um, yeah, Bette Midler. Quite a few there. Like I said, there weren't many that I didn't like. Jennifer Garner's, it suited her, but it wasn't my style, basically. Um, and then there was Liza Minnelli, who, yeah, it's Liza Minnelli, so she can get away with whatever. It's like Lady Gaga can get away with whatever, but it just, I mean, you could see booby things not good and she doesn't look right it she should have wrinkles there should be some sagging there's obviously sagging there so why isn't this sagging 
everything's going south, it's okay, it happens to everyone. Liza, it's fine. So, yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed that. I enjoyed watching it last night, even though I was kind of falling asleep. But um, I loved it. There was like little breaks so that I could go and get myself a tea, go to the toilet. And there were breaks like every five minutes, but I didn't mind. Um, but yeah, so give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and you'd like to see other ones like this. I promise to do better next time. This is my first one, so be easy on me um let me know if there are any other sort of award ceremonies coming up that you'd like me to review or um what the ladies are wearing at the races um that should be happening soon i think um so let me know um and i would be happy to share my opinion i should have really dressed for the occasion but <sighs> why um yeah Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you all very shortly. Bye.